Welcome to Camellia Island. As we pass the entry sign, you'll see Camellia Island is part of the island subdivision. The 24-hour manned guard gate is shared with Jasmine and Maple Island. When we are through the gate security at the second stop sign, we come to Camellia Drive. The entrance is also where we find the community amenities for all of the islands. There is a playground, tot lot, volleyball, and basketball court at the entrance of Camellia Island. Here we see homes behind a passive park on Camellia Circle, the main road. Camellia Lane is nestled within the circle. On the builder's site plan, notice the sizes of the lots in the islands. Camellia lots are about half the size of Maple Island lots. You'll find one-story and two-story single-family residences with tropical garden views on Camellia Drive and 34 unobstructed beautiful lake views closest to the entrance of Camellia Drive. This neighborhood of 148 homes is the perfect community for a growing family or retiree. Building started in 1994. Arvida was the builder. They built most of Weston. The lot sizes in Camellia Island are typically a bit larger than an eighth of an acre, ranging from 6,000 to 13,000 square feet. The larger lots are typically found at the end of the cul-de-sac in the pie-shaped lots. There was a variety of six floor plans that were offered. The one-story, three-bedroom models are the Antigua, the Bermuda, and the Freeport. The two-story floor plans are the Cayman, Dominica, and the Yulfera. These all have master bedrooms on the second floor. Here is an example of how deep the backyard is. Here is Camellia Lane. The Cayman, Dominica, and Yulfera floor plans also had offerings in three bedroom, four bedroom, and five bedroom elevations. The homes in Camellia Island in Weston are 2,032 square feet to approximately 3,316 square feet of air conditioned living space. The master bedrooms are typically 17 and a half by 13 square feet, sizable. They have walk in closets and a spacious ensuite bathroom. The washer and dryer are located downstairs in the laundry room with a laundry sink option. The Homeowner Association maintenance fees are $500. This is paid quarterly. That works out to about $167 per month. And as it is in all Weston gated neighborhoods, there's no street parking. What do you think? Do you like the one-story homes or the two-story homes better? Would you get a three-car garage or a two? Thanks so much for staying with us to see the whole video, and I'd like to invite you to see some of our other videos on the neighborhoods behind the gates. Check it out!